Today we are going to discuss the poem The Voice of the Rain, written by Walt Whitman. This poem is a short free verse poem. It was first published in a periodical March in 1885. The poem was republished in The Leaves of Grass. In this poem, the poet listens to the personified figure of the rain. The poet says, the rain nourishes earth. Similarly, poetry nourishes humanity. In this poem, rain identifies itself as the poem of the earth. The poem starts with a question. The poet asks rain a question. And who art thou? Who has created you? The rain answered to this question. And the poet says, he has translated the answer of the rain in words. See, in this poem, the rain is compared with poetry. The rain answers, I am the poem of the earth, said the voice of the rain, eternal I rise, in palpable, out of the land and the bottomless sea. See, in this line, the rain says that at initial stage, it hasn't taken the physical form. It is in the form of evaporation. Similarly, the poet says, using excellent metaphor, that thoughts of the poet exist before the take final shape. Your poet conveys a message that the nature and the natural world is a source of inspiration. The second stage is condensation stage. And the rain says, upward to heaven, hence vaguely formed, altogether changed, and yet the same. Now, at this stage, the rain is in the form of cloud. It corresponds the initial composition of a poem. When ideas of a poet take a shape that is visible to us. And the third stage is precipitation stage. And the rain says, I descend to lave the rocks, atomies, dust layers of the globe. When there is a drought, the rain nourishes the earth, washes off dust particles and dust layers. Extended metaphor is used here when poet says poetry also nourishes our soul, beautifies humanity. Now, the last stage of the poem is and all that is in them without me were seeds only, latent and born, and forever by day and night I give back life to my origin and make pure and beautify it. The rain says that without it the seed is latent. The rain says that it gives life to the seed. The rain further explains that it gives back life to its origin, means it returns water to the earth. As an extended metaphor, we can say poetry is also a source of inspiration. The creative cycle of poetry is needed by human to grow. And the last line of this poem, for song issuing from its birthplace, after fulfillment, vandling, wrecked or unwrecked, jewelry with love returns. Now, the poet says, poetry arises from a point of origin, means ideas, and it renders like cloud as it assumes a form, a visible form, and it returns to its creator with love, regardless it was noticed or appreciated. This is the this is the main theme of the poem. In the next class, we will discuss the meaning of this poem. Till then, bye bye.